Good morning! Uh, so, this is my new hair, guys. Ah! <laughs> I chopped it off like three years ago, like pixie pixie short. And I've been growing it out pretty much since I've gotten it trimmed, but it got really long, like really long and heavy, and I was getting kind of bored of it. So, I chopped it off and I got my first highlights in a decade. A decade! I haven't had highlights in a decade. Ten years. So, um, I'm not loving it. I feel kind of stripey. I don't know if they did a bad job or I just have to get used to it. I'm not loving the cut either, but it does feel nice and light. I just got to figure out how to do it without, you know, I'm not a curling iron kind of girl. I just kind of like get up and go. So, I don't know. What do you think I should do with it? Let me know. Uh, you can't comment here, but you can comment over on social media, US Japan Fam on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. But anyway, um, so one reason I got the highlights done is because if you've been following me, I've been doing really fun colors every three to six months doing the semi-permanent colors. And I've been reviewing for you guys how they do on virgin brown hair. And they've been doing really well. We've done the, uh, first was the L'Oreal Colorista Burgundy. I will link these below in the video description. And then I did the Color Crave Orchid. And those were both fun. They showed up a little bit. Um, they were fun and they wash out in like 10 to 15 washes, something like that. And then I did the, whoa, whoa, what was next? Oh, <laughs> I did the L'Oreal Colorista Teal, and this is the only one I do not recommend, and here is why. The blue part of the teal washed out pretty quickly, and it turned into this kind of green that lingered, almost like a chlorine that got into your hair and just wouldn't come out. It was like this like green hue, and it was pretty gross. And after a few months, I decided to go ahead and do the next color, which covered it up because it was Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink, and it was the most vibrant color I've done. It was amazing. It was like so bright pink on my dark, on my medium brown hair. It was really good, and I was really excited about it, but it washed out really fast, the fastest of any of them. And I was kind of shocked and saddened by that because I really loved the color. So that's when I reached out to Overtone, and if you haven't heard of Overtone, it is a company, and their big thing is that you can do it in the shower. <laughs> Basically, they have two kinds. They have like a deep color imprinting conditioner that I think you're supposed to do it like outside of the shower and let it sit for 15 minutes, and then you can wash it out in the shower. And then you maintain with their regular conditioner. So you use their coloring conditioner instead of your regular conditioner and just do it in the shower. And you can do this as your only color or you can do their main to maintain a color you got in the salon. It's really cool. They have all kinds of cool colors and they've also got regular colors. So if you're trying to cover up the gray or something, they've got brown and blonde and, and natural colors as well. So really cool. So I reached out to them and they sent a bunch of stuff for us to try, or for me to try. Um, really excited. But first, what happened when I went to the salon and I said, chop it all off and give me some highlights. And they did, and they asked if this was my natural color and I said yes, because at that point, I couldn't see green anymore. We had done the pink and that washed out and I, I couldn't really see the green anymore. But <laughs> when they bleached it, um, they were like, oh, Heather, it's green. and. And it was and so they put in some toner and it's pretty much the green is pretty much gone but there's still a bit of a greenish bluish kind of greenish hue I don't know if you can see but um, that's another reason I'm like eh. let's go ahead and get these overtones to test them out so here's what they sent guys we got three colors so this is gonna last me like a long time so stay with me because I'm gonna be doing videos on each of these colors I'm gonna let you know how does it work can you really do it in the shower can you do it without gloves uh, does it get all over your body when you're washing I'm like I'm like and my skin is gonna turn color I don't know how it works but um, I'm really excited to try it I know a lot of people are having huge success with overtone and swear by it so I'm really excited to try it out uh, so first I don't know which I'm gonna do. So this is another. You need to comment over on social media, US Japan Film. Let me know which color to do first. 
I'm thinking to go the least bold. Um, they sent me two of their lines which are specifically targeted for brown hair. So maybe they have a stronger pigment, I'm not sure. But this is the Overtone Coloring Conditioner Rose Gold for Brown Hair. So basically this one is going to be the super strong one. It says, using gloves, apply evenly to dry hair, wait 15 minutes and rinse clean. Want fade free color? Use weekly to refresh. And these are all vegan and cruelty free, free of sulfates, parabens and ammonia, suitable for all hair types. Um, really cool. So I have this in the rose gold and this is the daily conditioner. And it says directions using gloves. Ah, so they do recommend gloves. Using gloves, apply overtone evenly on wet hair whenever you need to condition. For even brighter color, apply on dry hair. Wait three to five minutes or longer, up to you. Rinse completely, cold water not required, and that's another one of their huge things. So if you're coloring your hair, usually they say use cold water. And it's winter now, and I'm telling you, I don't want to use cold water, so you can use hot water with these. <laughs> that's really exciting. Um, so, uh, uh, oh, and so adding color for the first time or feeling ultra faded, use the color and conditioner. So they've got the two levels here. And then next I've got the Overtone Extremely Pink. And again, we've got both of these. This is the initial color or the like super faded. You want to really pump it up and then like swap this one out for your regular conditioner. Which is interesting because I don't usually do conditioner on my roots, but if it's colored, I guess I will. So that'll be interesting too if it gets kind of greasy quicker. I'm used to washing my hair only one or two times a week, eee, so uh, we'll see. And then this is purple, and this is another one of their for brown hair. And again, we've got the daily conditioner as well. So excited to try these. So what color should I do first? I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna wash my hair maybe tonight or tomorrow. So hurry up and uh, leave a comment what color I should do, guys. Have you tried Overtone before? What do you guys think? you have any tips for me? Like how long should I leave it in? I'm a little nervous that my highlights are gonna be like a crazy color, but I guess that's fun. That's the whole point, right? Yellow. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you think in a comment. Be sure to like this video and check out the links below to my other videos I've done for the virgin hair. So I only did highlights on the top, so half head. So all my hair underneath is uh, still virgin brown, I guess. So we'll see how the color does on both the, high, the bleached highlights and the unbleached under part. So I can still do an honest review about how color shows up on unbleached hair. You're welcome. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Bye guys.